Six in the morning, police at my door. Need I say mo? I don't need to say no mo. When you put it down, you put it down. You tell the truth, you put it down. And your opinion is that his music is garbage. A hook over and over and over and over again is not music. A lot of people gonna look at me and say, man, nigga, what the fuck have you done? You ain't shit. But I'm old enough to understand the plight of music. And this hip hop is like the roller coaster, but it's on a downward slope. See, it's not just Soldier Boy, it's T Pain and, and all that. You know, once they commercialize yo gangster rap, shit start going downhill. So you can't blame him, you have to blame the people backing him. He's young enough to turn his shit around. But see, he can't do gangster. He has to do maybe some pop rap. Sing a hook over and over again, do some dances and shit. Maybe that's what he can do. I don't know. I don't listen to Soldier Boy. There you have it. I listen to music just like my steak. It can't be too thin and it ain't gonna be too fat. It's gonna be just right. The perfect steak. Look at hip hop like the perfect steak. You got this burn up shit. You got these small proportions. See, ice, the regular people won't understand that shit. They won't. What I'm trying to say, and I'm going to make it quick because I've only talked for a minute so far. Minute and 37 seconds. Hip hop is not hip hop. That's some pop hop. Welcome to the hop. Remember, all this is is pop music. We might as well forget about listening to real hip hop because they're not out there no more. And like you said, you mentioned a few people. I'm going to throw a couple names out there. Rick Ross, Ludacris, even Ice Cube busts a fresh one off every now and then. See, you cannot say anything positive about hip hop anymore because hip hop is not positive anymore. You got these kids and everybody talking about shoot niggas. Even back in your day, that's when that shit started. See, hip hop now is just a tool for the man, whoever the man may be, to desensitize and control the black populace. In other words, instead of me making a whole bunch of white people raise up and slaughter niggas, what better way to do it than make them kill themselves in their music? Smoke some blunts and kill a nigga. I had to say this shit. I hate to say this shit, but that's all there is in music. All they do is kill niggas in hip hop. And get check, get the freak on. Get brains in the back of the car with the 22s. Hip hop to me now is no more than a commercial. For rims, grills, teeth, little chains and shit. Motherfuckers skinning and grinning. Dancing like the old black minstrel shows and shit we used to have to hear about. You don't have to paint blackface on a white man and get him to jump up and down stupidly no more because you can just get black people to do it. And in the meantime, they'll scream kill a nigga for him too. The state of hip-hop is not worth listening to anymore. Especially after you have to sift through all the bullshit to find two or three artists. And then you go through their albums and shit and you find four or five songs just bullshit on their albums. What happened to finding that old mixtape out the back of somebody's Lincoln and shit? What happened to the old two short tapes when he's rapping over the top of Houdini beats with Houdini and them rapping? What happened to the real music? The shit you started with, like I said, six in the morning, police at my door, fresh Adidas squeak across. Come on, man. See, like I said, back in the days, I thought I was going to blow up. I thought my shit was going to be the greatest because I never sing the same song twice. These motherfuckers sing that same hook over and over and over again. You can go grab an album right now. Just look at the hook. Listen to the hook. You got five or six hooks and two verses. Huh, listen to the beat. Huh, motherfucker. Uh. The state of his hop is whack. Whack, whack, whack. I almost slurred my voice, but it's whack. It's a damn shame. Now, I was listening to something on this YouTube the other day, man. It was a bunch of white cats rapping about tea. Not iced tea, Earl Grey and, you know, tea, tea. They're rapping about the tea you drink. And that's the most entertaining rap I heard in years. 
years. Bunch of white guys rapping about tea. It looked like it was in England. This shit was fucking tight. I don't turn on the radio no more. I'd rather listen to my old beats and shit. Because I can't listen to this bullshit no more. It's all garbage. Not just Soldier Boy. Everybody. It's all bullshit. They need to stop sucking on producers' weenies and shit and come out with their own shit. Oh. You sang that hook so divine. Let's put the hook in the song five times and we'll put that verse in there written by a J Slab or something and shit. And, and the artists don't do shit no more. They get a piece of paper, somebody tell them to read and shit, and then you're going to be a millionaire. Please. We need to get up on some new shit. Rap is gone. It's gone. As far as I'm concerned, like I said, Rick Ross and a few of the people you mentioned, Ludacris, uh, Ice Cube, they're still bite. They're still meat on the plate. So if you got 20 rappers and you add one more, which rapper goes to the liquor store? Who comes back with the big 4-0 knowing it ain't enough to go around from him, him, and him, and him, and him? See, they, they're drying it out. Puff Daddy and them did that shit. <laughs> Dumping and dancing and shit. The producer is in the video and... You produce the artist. You're not on his group. You're not You're not in the group. And that's what happened. The producer's starting to get paid. Hey, I might as well throw a couple raps out there and get paid and overshadow my artists. And when they all broke, I'm gone. Jay-Z was supposed to be the baddest motherfucking rapper out there. Can't listen to him. Does nothing for me. Now, I feel saddened. You apologizing to some kid, you just made a statement. But I heard what he said too, man. But in the street, he wouldn't have to go get his grandpa. Because you would have put it on him. In the street, you put it on him. You know... Like I said, I heard uh, he started off at his dad's house. Mom told him to leave. He, dad had a computer. He got lucky. Since my phone is going off, I need to go get lucky too. Because that's money. And when money calls, everybody listens. You've been tubed, Ice-T.